English speaking course. I see more than one star. How long have we been walking? My feet are killing me. Feels like 30 minutes. Just a little bit further, okay? I'm exhausted. Can we spend the night and continue in the morning? Not a good idea. It'll get freezing at night. Let's push on a little longer. Fine, fine. But let's not just wander aimlessly. We need a plan. We do have a plan. We've been following the North Star. The North Star? Where is it? Up there. See? Through the leaves. Uh, Meg, I see more than one star. That's weird. There should only be one bright North Star out tonight. I'm serious. Oh, wait a minute. That's not a star. That's a street lamp. We found our way out. Really? Totally. Looks like we're following a different kind of guiding light now. Street lamp it is. I want to go to France. You know what? I want to go to France. That's quite unexpected. What's the sudden urge? I've suddenly got this intense craving for croissants. Does that have anything to do with you wanting to go to France? You idiot. Where else but France would have the best croissants in the world? How about that newly opened bakery down the street? Wait, there's a new bakery? Yep, just opened. I swung by yesterday for some bread. How was it? Pretty good, I'd say. The head baker is French, so you know their pastries are authentic. That sounds amazing. Maybe I'll give France a pass and head there instead. Absolutely. You'll save a ton of time and money that way. He is younger than I am. Hey, Laura. Who's the guy in Mr. Gagner's office? Oh, that's Bob, our new manager. He's taking over from Mr. Gagner when he retires. Really? He seems a bit young for the role, doesn't he? Any idea how old he is? Kate from HR said he's just a year older than her. No way. He is younger than I am. A young boss. That could be interesting, don't you think? Absolutely. I'm almost done dealing with our old, strict Gagner. Hey, Mr. Gagner is a great boss. Don't badmouth him to me. You wouldn't get it. He has never been strict with you. Well, I guess that is true. But being young doesn't mean Bob won't be strict. I couldn't agree more. That's why I have my fingers crossed. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Hi there. I'd like to place an order. Would you prefer to dine in or take away? I'll take it to go, please. Certainly, ma'am. What can I get for you? Well, I'll have four classic cheeseburgers, please, with extra bacon... I apologize, ma'am, but we don't offer that option here. Ah, got it. Classic burgers it is, then. And let's add four large fries, please. Actually, ma'am. Oh, and four large Cokes, please. If I may interject, hang on. Do you have Diet Coke? Let's do one Diet Coke and three regular ones. I'm trying to watch my calories. I'm sorry to interrupt you, ma'am. But I'm afraid I can't process that order. Why is that? Is it because you don't have Diet Coke? No, it's because this is a sushi restaurant. There's nobody out there. Honey, did you hear that? No, what's wrong? I think I just heard something, like someone stepping on dry leaves. There's nobody out there. You're imagining things. I swear I heard something moving outside. It's late. There can't be anyone out there. It's late. 
and you should be worried if there's someone out there. Okay, if I make sure there's no one outside, will you promise to go back to sleep? Deal, but how will you do that? Our dog can sniff out strangers. That could work, but where is our dog? Oh, I think I know where that sound came from. Where? Our poor dog. I forgot to let him in before going to bed. We can go to the movies. Which restaurant should we hit up this week? Well, none, I'm afraid. Why's that? I'm broke right now. Luxury dining out is something my bank account can't afford. Where did all your money go? Bills and rent, my friend. Bills and rent. Well, I've got to chip in for rent and buy my own groceries, too. Really? Then how do you manage to have any money left? Well, not actually. I'm actually broke, too. Oh, looks like we'll be homebodies for a while. Not necessarily. We can go to the movies. As if that doesn't cost money. My buddy works there, and he can hook us up with a discount. Oh, that actually sounds like a great plan. Plus, they have the best popcorn ever. Do they have cheese popcorn? It's their best seller. You had me at cheese popcorn. Count me in. I prefer to go rather than to stay. Hey, Nick, how's the packing going for the trip? Almost done, Mom. Do you think I should pack my walking shoes? For what? For going hiking, Mom, like every year. I'm surprised you want to go this time. You usually prefer staying at the hotel for the whole trip. This time, I prefer to go rather than stay. Oh, really? Wow. What changed your mind? Do I have to spell it out? Come on, spill the beans. I'm curious. All right, all right. It's because of Dave. Oh, Dave, what's up with your nephew? He's been so clingy to me lately. I bet if I stay at the hotel, he'll do the same. Well, guess what? Dave's not coming on the trip this year. Really? Yep, my sister's sending him to summer camp instead. Oh, well, then walking shoes are probably not needed after all. You were right. I hate to admit it, but you were right. Isn't that obvious? I am always right. But what was I right about this time? About Jimmy. What did your boyfriend do again? Ex-boyfriend. Whoa, hold up. Did you guys break up? Yeah, yesterday after a huge fight. Apparently... He wasn't too keen on me moving for college. Forget that guy. College town's full of potential Mr. Right material. Trust me. But seriously, how could you tell Jimmy wasn't right for me? I had a dream where he cheated on you. That's all. What? You judged him based on a dream? Hey, I was right, wasn't I? He was bad news. All right, dream queen. Time to put your skills to the test. Manifest me a fantastic guy at college, then. Consider it done, bestie. I need to go back to school. Hey, Kevin, there's something we need to talk about. Uh Uh-oh, you look serious. Is everything okay? Did I mess something up? No, no, honey, nothing like that. It's just, there are some big changes coming up. I'm all ears. So, I need to go back to school. Really? Why? Apparently, I need a master's degree to get the promotion I've been wanting. But wouldn't going back to school put a strain on our finances? Not necessarily. I won't quit my job entirely, just switch to part-time. True, but tuition can be a killer. The good news is my company will cover the cost of tuition. Oh, really? 
That's fantastic. The bad news is I might not have as much time or energy to keep up with everything around the house. Okay, that part is a bit of a bummer, but hey, we can figure it out together. Let's never speak of this again. What brings you here? I messed up with Mr. Murray and got caught. Mr. Murray, the algebra teacher? What exactly did you do? Every time he turned his back to the class, I removed something from his desk. And you got caught when there was nothing left? Actually, Mr. Murray didn't notice a thing. He was deeply invested in the lesson. Sounds like him. So why are you here now? The principal happened to walk past my class and caught me red-handed. And now you're waiting to have a talk with her? Seems that way. And you? What brings you here? I'm waiting for my dad. Who's your dad? Mr. Murray. (gasps) Mr. Murray, the algebra teacher? That's correct. Uh Uh-oh. Let's never speak of this again. Deal. Alex works for four hours every day. Hey, Lily, are you free to chat for a sec? Hey, Jane, yeah, everything okay? Uh, sorry to be a bummer, but I just need to vent a little. No worries, go ahead. It's been two weeks since I last spoke to Alex, and I miss him. Why haven't you called him? Isn't he your boyfriend? He's got finals coming up, so he's studying nonstop. He always switches his phone off when he's cramming. Yeah, but surely you can't be studying 24-7, right? How about after school? Alex works four hours every day. And his boss makes everyone keep their phones on silent. Hmm, that is kind of tough. I mean... Couldn't he just take a day off? Actually, he's been saving up to buy Taylor Swift concert tickets. He promised to take me for my birthday. Oh, if that's the case, hang in there. It'll be worth it. It's not going to be a problem. Hey, Amy, do you remember Harry? You mean whiny Harry from sales? No, that guy is Henry. Harry was my college bestie. I had no idea you had a college bestie. Well, he moved overseas after graduation, so we haven't seen each other since. That's why you've never met him. Okay, Harry from college day. What's up with him? So, he called yesterday. He's going to get married next month. Congratulations, I guess. Hold on, there's more. He invited us to his wedding in Spain. Whoa, that sounds amazing. Right, hope you've still got some paid leave left. I do, but how about our cats? He's going to take care of them. It's not going to be a problem. I asked my sister and she promised to look after them while we're away. Your sister is a lifesaver. Definitely. She was very tired and frustrated. Dad, where's Mom? I haven't seen her all day. She went to your grandma's house. Why? Is Grandma sick? I don't know. Your mom has been upset with me since yesterday and hasn't said anything. What did you do, Dad? I honestly have no idea. Your mom came home late last night. She was very tired and frustrated. I thought you two were going out together yesterday. That was the (laughs) plan, but my friend Fred called and needed help fixing his basement. So I asked your mom if we could reschedule. What did she say? Well, 
I kind of insisted on changing the date. She ended up going out with her sister instead. Maybe their night didn't go as planned. Dad, did you forget something? Forget what? Yesterday was Mom's birthday. <gasps> you forgot it, didn't you? Oh, no. What should I do now? I think you should head over to Grandma's with an apology card first thing. We can make ice cream. Hey, Anna, are you free this Friday after work? I am. What's up? My aunt invited us to her party. That sounds fun. What should we bring? Auntie said she's taking care of the main dishes, so we can bring sides or desserts. Let me think. It's summer, so how about something refreshing? We can make ice cream. That's a fantastic idea. But have you ever made ice cream before? I did once with my mom when I was little. Her orange ice cream was amazing. I still remember the creamy texture melting on my tongue. My mouth is watering just thinking about it. Let's make your mom's orange ice cream. But I'll need to call her and ask for the recipe first. Sounds perfect. Let me know if you need help buying ingredients. Sure, I will. Does Amelia know? So, it's official that Hannah's moving out at the end of the month, right? Yeah, she's made up her mind. She's definitely leaving. That leaves just us and Amelia. I don't want to pay extra rent, so we should probably find a new housemate soon. Speaking of that, we also might need a new couch and fridge. Why's that? Hannah said she's taking those with her when she moves. Does Amelia know? Why would I tell her? Well, she and Hannah bought those things together. Oh, I didn't know that. Hannah told me she bought them herself. We should let Amelia know so they can sort it out between them. At least she can keep the couch. Actually, I prefer the fridge. What do you see? Thanks for coming with me today. No, thank you. I've always wanted to see this exhibition, but I was nervous to come alone. Really? I didn't know you were interested in this artist. I wouldn't say that I'm a big fan, but his work is definitely intriguing. It makes you think. You could definitely say that. His stuff is pretty... Controversial, right? Controversial for sure, but that's kind of the beauty of art, isn't it? There are no hard and fast rules. Check out this one. What do you see? It looks like an ordinary fire exit at first glance, but the colors are definitely bold and expressive. The placement is interesting too, don't you think? You're right. It's definitely out of place. Just like him. Excuse me, ma'am and sir. Could you please step aside? Well, sure, but why? For safety reasons, sir. You're blocking the fire exit. The store is having a sale. You seem a bit stressed out. Everything all right? Yeah, I'm trying to review my spending from last month and set a budget for this one. And it isn't going well. It's tough with everything getting so expensive and then my car breaking down last week. That's rough. Maybe I can help with the car. My uncle has a great auto shop and he's always fair with prices. I really appreciate the offer. I might just have to take you up on that. And about the groceries... I think I can also help with that. How? The store is having a sale. Thought I could swing by and grab some stuff for us to save money. Hmm, that's really thoughtful of you. Do they have any deals on organic items by any chance?
Once you begin, you must continue. Hey, what are you reading? Oh, it's a book about spells. Cool. What are you reading it for? Just for fun, I guess. So, have you found anything fun yet? Well, not really fun, but there's this one. A kind of <laughs> evil spell that lets you eat as many donuts as you want. Donuts are the best. I wouldn't call it evil at all. That's not the evil part. Then what is? Once you begin, you must continue. What? You have to keep eating donuts until there are literally none left in the whole world. I wouldn't want to eat donuts for the rest of my life. Apparently, nobody wants that. That's why it's an evil spell. Wow, your book kind of sounds crazy. Where did you even find it? It was in the fiction section. All right, so if it's all fictional, it's not really scary, is it? His boss might get angry with him. Guess who I bumped into at the ski resort last week? Who was it? Brad Pitt? Wouldn't that be something? It was Dave. Dave? I thought he called in sick for work all last week. Me too. Imagine my surprise when I saw him there. His boss might get angry with him if they find out the truth, huh? I can't say I blame him for fibbing a bit to get some time off. Why would you say that? I used to work with his boss, and let me tell you, the man was stingy with vacation days. Man, his team has our biggest projects on their plates. I'd be stingy if I were him, too. But everyone deserves a break every now and then, don't you think? Absolutely. Forget Dave and his boss for now. How was your ski trip? The teacher was a little angry. Honey, why are you home later than usual today? Well, the teacher was a little angry, so our whole class got detention. Oh no, what happened? Well, John thought it would be funny to hide Mrs. Thompson's bag. Oh, what a mischievous boy. Poor Mrs. Thompson. Mom, nobody likes her. She is such a difficult person. That doesn't mean she deserves that. Apparently, our class didn't think so. Don't tell me you all joined the prank. We didn't. We just pretended we didn't know where the bag was. But Mrs. Thompson didn't believe us. And that's why she made you stay after school? Exactly, Mom. Honey, I don't agree with this kind of behavior at all. I'm truly disappointed. I'm sorry, Mom. You should apologize to Mrs. Thompson, not me. What if I don't? Then you'll be grounded. They live in a beautiful house. I didn't see you at the reunion last night. My son had a play I couldn't miss. You're a great parent, but do you know what you missed instead? Tell me. Remember Thomas? The quiet one who always sat in the bath? We used to talk to him, right? Right. He came with his wife, and guess what? They're both, <laughs> well, successful surgeons. Wow, that's incredible. He showed me pictures of his family. They live in a beautiful house. I'm glad his life is going so well. And you know what? He also owns a holiday house by the sea. A huge mansion. Sounds like he's living the dream. He actually invited me and my family to visit him this summer. And he asked if you and your family would come too. I wouldn't miss it for the world. It makes me forget all my problems.
Mickey, do you want to come with me to the movie tonight? Oh, that's a bummer. I wish I could, but actually, no. Oh, are you busy? I just wouldn't be able to swing it financially right now. No way. Did you really spend your whole paycheck already? I didn't mean to. Shopping therapy is such a great way out of all my stress. It makes me forget all my problems. It also exhausts your bank account as well, though. I know. Now I'm truly regretting it. How about this? Movies are on me tonight. Really? Yes, really. And starting tomorrow, you'll join me in yoga class. Yoga? Mm. It's much cheaper and a healthier way to de-stress. That sounds perfect. What a big dog. Looks like the house next door is getting new residents. Yes, those are our new neighbors, a family of four. I met the wife yesterday when I got out of my car. Hopefully they're nice people. I haven't met the rest, but the wife seemed really nice. She and her husband have two teenage kids and a dog. Oh, I would love to see the dog. Actually, I saw the dog yesterday as well. What a big dog. I wonder if she would let me play with it sometimes. Oh, and she asked me if I knew any good pet sitters available this weekend. Why's that? Her family will be out of town and she needs someone to take care of the dog. Maybe I could offer to pet sit for them. Great. Let's wait until they're settled in first, though. This shouldn't be a big deal. Lily, when's our company party again? It's next Friday. Have you picked out what you're wearing yet? I have my eye on a dress at the mall, but I'm still not sure. Honestly, I'm thinking of skipping this time. Why? You know, we'll probably drink a lot. And I'm not comfortable taking public transportation home drunk. This shouldn't be a big deal. Tom has volunteered to be our designated driver. Really? Why isn't he drinking? Apparently, he's on some kind of diet where he can't have alcohol. Oh, that's a shame. But hey, lucky us, I guess. Exactly. Let's not worry about that and focus on your outfit instead. You're right. Can I come with you to the mall? I think I need to do some shopping, too. Definitely. Things aren't always easy. <laughs> oh, my. What's going on here in the kitchen, Katie? Oh, Mom, you're home. Could you please explain to me why our kitchen looks like this? You know, Dad's birthday is coming up, and I was trying to bake him a cake. Oh, honey. I am such a terrible baker. Maybe I should just never bake again. Sweetie, things aren't always easy. Just because it didn't work out this time doesn't mean you can't do it. I don't know, Mom. I don't feel confident at all. How about I help you with that? How can you help? I've never seen you bake before. I used to bake quite often when I was young. I'm by no means a pro, but I can definitely help you out. That'd be awesome, Mom. But first, let's clean up this mess. We don't need to do everything on the list. I'm so hyped about our upcoming trip. Yeah, me too. But we should prep well. It's going to be pretty intense. Why do you say that? I'm making a checklist of all the places and things we got to do. It's going to be packed. Whoa, it's full to the brim. I know it seems like a lot, but I want to make sure we make the most of our time there. We don't need to do everything on the list, though. Really? Why not? I just want to enjoy the trip with you. You don't want to visit this famous temple? I'd rather wander the streets with you. 
So, can I cross half of the items off? I have a better idea. How about we scratch everything and just go with the flow? Oh, I'm all for that. I am ready for the next step. May I come in? Oh, Dave, of course. Please come in. I've been expecting you. So, could you fill me in on why I'm here today? Can't you guess? I assume your manager briefed you a bit. She mentioned something about a change in my work scope, but didn't go into details. All right, here's the gist. There's an open manager position that suits you. That's fantastic news. However, it's based in the UK, so you'd have to relocate. Ah, uh, well, in that case, I'm not sure if I'm cut out for that role. You'll receive housing, transportation, and a monthly allowance on top of your salary. That doesn't sound too convincing. You'd be earning triple your current salary. I am ready for the next step. What paperwork do I need to sign? They are so loud. What's that noise? I thought the construction site nearby stopped working after 5 p.m. Honey, it's our new neighbors. What new neighbors? You don't know? They just moved in yesterday. Absolutely no idea. You got back late last night, so it's no surprise you weren't aware. Anyway, they are so loud. They're a bunch of college students. Metalheads. You know how they can be. I don't care who they are. They need to learn some manners and not blast music this late. Actually, it was me who told them they could play music as loud as they wanted. John, why on earth would you do that? Well, you always complain when I want to play my music, so I figured I'd listen to theirs instead. I just took a nap. Hey, where were you? Harry's been looking all over for you. I just took a nap. Why would Harry be looking for me? No idea, man. He's been asking everyone about you. Oh, maybe he needed my math notes. He texted me for them yesterday. Harry, the most hardworking student, needing your notes? That's a shocker. Yeah, he missed some classes last month for his drama club play. That guy's involved in everything, isn't he? He's also on the school football team, right? Yeah, he's on the team. And I think he's part of the yearbook team as well. Does that kid ever take a break? Unlike you, Mr. Sleeping Beauty. No idea, man, because I always sleep. Can you pick me up at my place? Hey, just a heads up. We're meeting at 7 p.m. in front of the cinema. Got it. But there's a hiccup. What's up? My car's broken down and there's no bus stop nearby. Can you pick me up at my place? Sure, but you've just moved, right? Can you shoot me your new address? I will send you my location. Great. But since I'll be picking you up, we might be running a bit late for the movie. Sounds likely. We could catch the next screening, though. I checked online. It's the last one for the night. Oh, really? What now? Do you mind if we watch another movie? What's on the table? I was thinking the new Christopher Nolan flick. That's an instant yes from me. Awesome. Well, see you later at your place. See you. Don't forget to practice your English every day to improve your English level. Watch the video for one week. Try to think and speak in English every time. Listen and repeat the lesson out loud to improve your listening and speaking skills fast. Thanks for watching. Please give us a like, share, and comment. Click here for more useful videos.